Hey there, everybody on the YouTubes. It's Antonio, probably better known by most of you as Office Bob 2, here now with more facial expressions and body language. Uh, I was going to do a Q&A video, and I was going to, uh, you know, since I'm nearing the 1,000 subscriber milestone, something I thought I'd never, ever, ever reach, I thought maybe I'd actually give you you know, an idea of who's been talking to you this whole time. Most Let's Players are content to just be kind of disembodied voices that hang in the air and tell you about a game. But I like to be a little bit more personable. And it's hard to be personable with a voice that just kind of wafts in from nowhere. I'm recording this with a camera that I bought back in March. You can see it with the mirror I'm holding. Uh, there you go. There's also my Pass the Glory poster and Jaws poster. Uh, I love posters. But anyway, uh, I love this little camera. It cost me a pretty penny, but I think I've got a, I've gotten my worth out of it so far. You might actually be wondering why I don't use this camera for Let's Plays, because after all, I could record off a TV with it, but I've made a video to show you just why that might not be a good idea. Now, pardon the audio for the video. It's not very great. It feels kind of tinny. It's got like a background noise to it, but that's because uh, the, I need to adjust some crap. I'm sure that with a bit of tinkering, I can get that noise out of the way. But the problem is not the noise, it's the imagery. The video itself is kind of... Yeah, just, just see for yourself. It's me playing RE4, by the way. Now, some of you are probably wondering what a Let's Play would look like if I used this video camera for one. Well, I'm going to show you. This is about as good I can get with the recording quality, unless if I want to move the camera a little bit. I'm going to show you a bit of Resident Evil 4 on my Wii and see if that looks passable to you. Personally, I think it goes in and out of the lighting a bit too much and stuff, but that's just me. See, it's really out of focus and now it's in focus. I guess the lens is a little dirty. I could clean that up. I probably should. I'm playing separate ways right now and I'm getting my ass handed to me. Hey, it's the first time I played separate ways. Give me a break, okay? Took me a while to beat the first game, well, first part of the game, because I was just playing using only the default handgun. Yeah, that was kind of a silly idea, but I made it through it, so you can't blame me for succeeding. Okay, are there any of these guys left here? Uh, I don't think so. I think I got them all. No one coming up behind me? Good. No one here either. Swell. Get the heck out of here. Oh, I, I'm still in chapter one of separate ways. I don't really know what to expect of it. Oh, hey! I'm gonna go kick you! Bam! Yeah! How about a knife? Yeah! Oh, yeah! Wiggle that wee mouth. Yeah! 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 Gah, yeah! Gotcha! Reload! Drop anything? Nah. Lame. Let's keep going. Oh, there's nothing hanging up there like it was in a... Oh, I hear you. I'm coming. Oh, some crows. I'll have to shoot those later. I don't like you. Run away! I want that shiny thing. Give me. Oh, yeah. Now I can... I can go ahead and uh, complete this. Combine, and combine. Almost done, just need the blue gem. Wonder if I could just run by these guys. Probably. There's no, there's no cart. To oh shit! <laughs> uh, now it's time for shotgun. Eat it! Hmm. Fuckers. You missed, boy! Yeah! Come on, grab me. Give me a hug. Booyah! It's probably a waste of shoddy shells, but you know, it's it's fun. Excuse me! Ah! No hugging. Excuse me. Just go this way. Don't throw things at me. It's not fun. Oh, damn. I was going to kick him, but that didn't work out. Keep in mind, I'm also looking at the camera while I'm playing this to see the recording quality. Oh, God! Ugh, damn it. 
I'll take a thousand pesetas, even though I'm probably gonna shit, 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 shit. Oh, oh, that was luck. It's pure luck. I want to get those bullets. Hopefully, they didn't disappear. Fuck you. Damn it. I want a pancake. I want a pancake. Yes. Oh. Grab a hand granata. Run away. Run away more. Keep in mind, I'll probably never play this luck game as a let's play because I'm not very good at it. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Aww. I thought I wasn't gonna die for a minute. I was like, oh, shit, but no, didn't work out. Oh, there you go. There's a look at how subpar games will look if I recorded them on this camera. I, I just don't like it that way. I just don't. It, it's too washed out for me. Maybe if there was a way that I could get the lighting better or just a, I'm not sure how that would work. I see people do camera LPs all the time, and uh, to be honest, a lot of them don't look this good, and I don't think this looks very good. So, maybe you guys will disagree with me or whatever, maybe you have an idea to make this work, but personally, I don't see how this camera would be a particularly good Let's Play tool. And that's a shame, because this, uh, I can't really think of a way I'd rather play games like, uh, say, Silent Hill 2 or Medal of Honor Frontline. Those are games I really want to play, but the Silent Hill 2 version on the PC is is crap to hell. And, uh, there's no, you know, there's no uh, PC version of Frontline, so I can't do that. So, yeah, it's probably about the end of that. Just tell me what you think about that. Personally, I find it subpar, but maybe you will disagree. Thanks for watching this kind of useless segment. On with the questions! Well, now you can see why that's... Not such a great idea, after all. But, uh, with the, uh, bad stuff out of the way, let's just, uh... I'm gonna show you a little bit of Let's Playing History, so to speak. Basically where I've come from over the year and a half that I've been doing this. I'm gonna show you pretty much everything I've worked with since I've started. Let's go! Don't mind me. Uh, okay. Let's see if I can get this in frame fully. This is the old computer. Yeah, look at that piece of shit. Look at it. It's so bad. Uh, I guess you could say it's a Walmart special. This bad boy, it's uh, really, really shitty. Let's see if I can set it down somewhere. Yeah, there we go. Uh, get, yeah, there we go. That's better. Uh, well, how can I describe this? The monitor is almost as old as I am. I think it was made in 1994. It was actually, the, the monitor used to be on my grandmother's old computer, but after that died, the monitor somehow lived on, like a, like a very, very out-of-date zombie. And still functions to this day. It, it's a pretty decent monitor, despite the utterly craptastular look of it, but that's about the best thing about the computer. The mouse you see there is horribly unresponsive. Even back when I recorded LPs with that computer, the mouse was a troublesome beast. Keyboard's alright, but it's pretty hard to screw up a keyboard, isn't it? Uh, the computer itself, Walmart special, I would call it, cost about, uh, 250 bucks back in the day of 2006. Uh, even then, it wasn't a very impressive computer. It has a, uh, 512 gigabyte memory. Yeah, I know. 500, not gigabyte, t megabyte. Gigabyte would be awesome, but, uh, megabyte memory. Terrible. Uh, it's got an 80 gig hard drive but the operating system and essential files take up like 8 gigs of that so it's only got a 72 gig hard drive it's got a something terrible processor I wonder if I can zoom in on the sticker it's still on the sticker oh uh, I don't know if you can read that yeah there we go 3.2 gigahertz really terrible graphics card uh it says 5 USB ports but I can only find 2 of them Oh yeah, and it had AOL on it. Oh god, that was so terrible. But it was a computer that was really just meant for my grandmother to use, but I ended up having it anyway. It was my first, uh, my first private computer, the first computer I owned entirely by myself. So I have a special connection with it, which is probably why I haven't thrown it in a box and forgotten about it entirely by now. Uh, my first four Let's Plays were recorded on this. Somehow, I have no idea how I did it. I guess I must have been insane or something, because I actually thought that would work. 
And it sort of did, despite the lag and graphical glitches and constantly having to restart the computer because something would always freeze. But hey, it worked halfway, I guess, and I made hundreds of videos with it and uploaded hundreds of videos with it. My god, what was I thinking? Uh, Medal of Honor, Medal of Honor Underground, Dino Crisis, and Silent Hill were all done with this computer. And half of Medal of Honor Allied Assault was. My goodness, that feels like so long ago. But it really wasn't. It really wasn't. Oh, there we go. That's enough of old Bertha. No one wants to look at her anyway. She's kind of ugly. This is a table. It's a very special table. I call it the pedestal. It's got a really wonky leg. You can see that leg kind of sticks out. But I use this all the time. Sometimes I actually sit on this to get better audio. I've had this for years, but now I've just started using it for LPs. I usually put notes or a drink on it. But sometimes I put the computer there. I don't know why I'm showing you a table. It's kind of boring. Let's go on to my computer. Get this thing. It's got to... Oh, the screen's going to be bright as the sun. There we go. If you can see it, if the screen is uh, not destroying the... Th yeah, there we go. Uh, the last recent recent video is almost done uploading. There we go. There we go. It's almost done. Awesome. Oh, sorry, uh, this dude. Nodak Joe 2010. I you've asked me to like look at your let's plays and I'm going to just wait a bit. I I was gonna offer you some feedback. Just give me a few uh, a while after this is finished probably. This is my chair. It's crap. It makes really weird noises when I sit on it sometimes. Not because I'm fat, mind you. But then again, you guys have never seen my lower portion of my body, so oh, damn it. I don't think I'm fat, right? So uh, there we go. Uh, what, what, I've already told you the, uh, hardware specifications of this computer, it's, it's not a gaming laptop. I'll be the first to admit that it's, it's not a gaming laptop, I'll be the first to admit that it's, it's a school laptop, that's really what it's meant for, and it's, it fulfills that purpose really well. It's good at editing video, editing sound, it's, it's good at, uh, doing school projects, you know, uh, working with office materials. Uh, stuff like that. It's really great at that. But gaming, it's it's all right. I can play most games made uh, before 2008 on this computer, except games like Bioshock. I can't play that. I can play Oblivion, but I can't play Bioshock. I find that so weird. Well, I can play Bioshock. It just chugs like a bitch. Uh, Oblivion is probably the most uh, advanced game I can play on this, and even then, I have to play it on a fairly low settings. Not not the lowest, but fairly low. My sister actually has a desktop computer that she got like six months ago that blows this out of the water. But very, very briefly, this was the best computer that I had ever actually had access to. I've already told you its, spec its technical specifications, I'm sure. I can't remember them off the top of my head, except that it's got a 280 gig hard drive and four gig memory and a something something processor it says right there but I'm not gonna read that because it's boring these aren't the questions you're asking I know but hey someone's probably gonna say something about it eventually so they might as well see my wireless mouse it's kinda of the cheapest wireless mouse I could find but it works pretty well it, the batteries recently died I had to replace those I told you about that didn't I? Yeah, I did. Dr. Pepper what keeps me going uh, let's see what else we got here Headphones! Really cheap, janky headphones. I was kind of embarrassed when I brought these to QuakeCon because the dude who checked them in, he kind of giggled when I showed them to him. Because like, <laughs> everybody else was having these like $50, $100 headsets and I got this, which cost like 15 bucks, maybe. I think I bought this at Alco. Do you know what an Alco is? I pray you don't. Back when I lived in Alpine. Uh, they're not terrible. The, the sound is... I don't know much about sound. I can hear things fine. That's good enough for me. I use this to record videos now. I think you guys have noticed that there's a change in the quality of audio. I like that change better. I used to record with a built-in mic here, but uh, I didn't like that because it was... It was, it sounded kind of shrill. You, you know how in the video I just recorded about the uh, the camera let's play, uh, how that the sound had a kind of tingeness to it? Well, I detected that a little bit from the built-in mic there, so I used that mic. But that wasn't the mic I always used. I have another one around here somewhere. Maybe I'll show it to you if I can find it. 